Is it too good to be true? The latest report from the Department of Education says Alabama is third in the nation for graduating high school seniors on time. And now that same agency is also reviewing districts all across Alabama. Mobile County Public Schools were recently audited. News 5's Jacqueline Quinn has a look at why this has administrators on the defense. Governor Robert Bentley hasn't been concealing how he feels about Alabama's education system. Because I tell you, our education system in this state sucks. <laughs> Those remarks came out just earlier this month, but Governor Bentley might be surprised to find out Alabama now ranks third in the country for high school graduation. That, according to a recent report by the U.S. Department of Education. And critics would argue something might not add up. ACT scores show only 16% of students in Alabama were ready for college-level coursework, compared with the national average of 26. Right. When you look at that, what you have to realize is that one test score uh, does not truly measure everything that students are achieving. The department also administers audits to make sure the graduation rates check out. Mobile County, among other schools, were reviewed in June. Uh, we supplied the information they wanted as well as uh, reviewed what we do to audit transcripts with them. And there was no question about uh, the records that we kept. Superintendent Martha Peake also emphasizes the audit wasn't for the latest scores, but for 2014. Something else that happens and occurs in this uh, that I think needs to be looked at also besides is every state giving the ACT to every student. That, she says, would account for flat numbers. And graduation rates have been increasing steadily, even as the curriculum has changed. The standards uh, have been raised uh, when it came in the Alabama College and Career Readiness Standards. Uh, they are much uh, more uh, accelerated standards. Final audit reports have not come back, but Superintendent Peake says those numbers in Mobile County will hold up. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5.